was your name? Mary Goodchild. What was your father's name? My father's name was Henry Durstan. And what was your mother's maiden name? Maiden name? Before she was married. Oh, hey, she she back. Hannah, hey, yeah. Okay. What is your birthday? My birthday? Yeah. August the uh, 3rd. What year? Huh? What year were you born? Oh, 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 1888. Where were you born? Why, in Hatfield Township. On a farm, or? Yes, on a farm. Mm -hmm. Did you used to do chores on the farm when you were little? Oh, yes, I had to pick weeds. <laughs> and I was old enough once, you know. Uh-huh. Is that all you did, or did you, like, take oh, care of well, it? Oh, well, I had a milk when I was a little old, old enough to milk. Hand milk the cars. Hand milk them or did you Hand milk, yes, yeah. that time. Huh? Did you mind working or did you Oh I got tired sometimes of it. <laughs> what did you do for fun? Like what games did you play or Oh if we played games we didn't have so much we, in school we used to play old mates. And sometimes when they had company. We didn't have much games. What was did your dad ever discipline you? What? Like when you were bad, what did your Parents did. <laughs> I got a whipping once. <laughs> do you think kids were better then than now? Like, do you think? Well, yes, I guess they were better because uh, when they grew up, they they had to have a tr somebody that trained them. My parents. I never regretted that. Uh, he, some used to say that their parents were so hard to them, but it was good for me. <laughs> Where did you go to school? Oh, Sunnyside, in uh, Hatfield Township, yes. Was that a one-room school? Yes, it was a one-room school. Mm -hmm. Do you remember any of your teachers? Oh, yes. Reverend Trey Clemens. But Trey Clemens, I was four years I went to his school. He teach four years there. You I know that minister, you know, mm -hmm. is young Trey Clemens' father. I heard some story my mother told me oh, about... <laughs> J.C. Clemens uh -huh. punishing you or something? Huh? Did you draw on the board or something once? Oh, but I, I, I get a whipping from him once. I don't know how old I was, maybe eight years or so. We were supposed to study and we two sat side of each other and we were playing a, a game, you know. And then he threw chalk and I had to bring it up. I had the other girl, the other one got first and I sort of cried and then I didn't get it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like him as a teacher? Uh huh. Did you like him as oh, a yes, teacher? Oh yes, I liked him. Who taught him afterwards? Oh, one of our big boys that graduated from his school taught taught us Lamb and Kretz and uh, Lamb and Kretz and Horace Creeble. They were the big boys when I was small, and then they taught school there yet. <laughs> Did you like have recess when you were at school? Did you go out to play? Yes, we had recess and dinner. Did you play games outside? Like yes, I had the seeds. <laughs> and uh, they made a ring. How do you call that? I don't know how you call that. Ring around the razor? Uh, yes, I guess it was something like that. Mm -hmm. I heard a story once you were up on the barn <laughs> or something. What happened yes. there? Yes. <laughs> I wish there wasn't that time. <laughs> Oh, I just, my older sister was sitting up, up, you know, they were hauling, they were hauling uh, hay or wheat, I don't know no more. And she went in the inside up, she had me up there, and was two doors on the outside, and I stood down and I said to her, you think I'd come up there? It was a, a roof, but it was a pretty slanting, I didn't think it was a slanting, I took a hold of the side, and I crawled up there. And I was at the corner, then it was the highest of all, you know. And then I looked down, but I couldn't, I thought it looked as though it goes straight down. I was so afraid, and we had the painters. And then one of the painters had to put a ladder there, so I could mm. crawl it down. <laughs> so you were stuck up there? Huh? Were you stuck until you came? I was holding myself, but I was glad when he came. <laughs> Where did you go to church when you were younger? Oh, I took twins. What do you, how often did you used to go to church a week? Huh? How often did you go to church? Was it just Sunday Oh, morning? well, see, once they just had every two weeks for a while. 
church. The roads were somewhat inserted in Sunday school. We didn't have any in the winter because it was uh, wasn't not not nice to drive. The roads were not not fit. <laughs> mm-hmm. So how did you get around then, like going to church? You were saying about the roads. What did you use? Oh, we used a wagon, carriage, carriage. And how many horses did you usually have? Just one. Just one in the carriage. Mm-hmm. Did you use to drive? Oh, when I was a little older, I used to drive the horse. Mm-hmm. Did, did they ever have accidents, like with horses and buggies? I don't believe. Oh, once, well, but that time I was married, we were upset with the sled. <laughs> <laughs> What did you used to do Sunday afternoons? Oh, well, I, when I was big enough once, I used to visit my girlfriends, you know, you know, went to church down here. And then I had company too, sometimes they came and visit me. Mm-hmm. How old did, were you, most of the people, when they became members at the church? I guess, well, I was married. I was 20 years old. Is that how most people did? Or did that some... time, not so many people went to belonged to church people, but some did before they were married. Do you remember any other things, you know, any events that happened to you when you were younger? I was very sick when I was five years old, and when the brain is cruel, they didn't believe I'd get over it. But then our neighbor girl had it too, where Rosenberg is leaving. There was a girl, she had the same age as I, but uh, she, then she died then of the same disease, my baby was too. But what was your husband's name? Charles Gutschall. How did you meet him? Oh, well, he wrote a letter that we admitted. <laughs> did he know you before at all? Yes, he knew me before. He went to the same church that I did. What did you do together, like? Did you go oh, to church together? Or? Yeah, no. In the evenings, we used to visit other girlfriends and boyfriends, you know, sometimes. Did he uh, drive a buggy? Uh, he had a horse and a buggy. Uh-huh. It was a falling top. Falling top, he called it with a top on. Now, the buggies that didn't have tops on, but uh, he had one with a top on, falling top. Was it how many would sit in it? Uh, like two, only Just two. two. How old were you then when you got married? I was twenty. How many children did you have then? Three. Three boys. And how many were in your family? When you oh, were? I, in my, I had, in my sequence, I had three, three sisters and two brothers. That was six with me. Which were you then? I of them? was the, the third oldest. Third oldest. Did you ever work away from home? Oh, I made wrists. I, I sewed wrists for the factory. Oh, yeah? Did you sew them at home, or did you go work at, at home? At home, at home. I pitched them and made them at home. Where was this factory? Clubsville. Then did you just work on the farm after that? Mm-hmm. Yes, I was busy PCO all summer. I had a help to make hay, you know, and sometimes I used to have the two horses in the, in the roller when they pl- planted corn, you know, and one horse in the, in the hay rake. At this when they made hay then. How many work with you out there? Well, just one could do that. We changed I and my sister, the one that was a little younger than I, we changed off. Sometimes uh, she she, uh, she took my place and I took, I used to make a, sometimes a dress for her. <laughs> I'd rather sew than work outside. Did you make a lot of the clothes for your Children, once you were married? Yes, no, yes, you couldn't buy much sport to kill at that time. And did you raise most of the food on the farm to, to eat? Oh, yes, we always had a patch of in the garden. What do you do now to pass your time? Oh, I'm, I'm a qui- uh, piecing a quilt. <laughs> Just now. And sleep in between, I get to sleep in. <laughs> Going back to travel, um, do you remember when cars first came out? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, we had a little accident with one once, yes. And they went home from church. They went very far away from the church, of course, went for the gutter. And then uh, uh, Curtis, your grandpa, 
he was uh, sitting on my lap and had a little straw hat on, and he pumped in there or else he would have cut his face. That broke the wind the shield. And somebody had to take us home. There was something wrong at the car that was bent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one and one should bend in the, in the gutter against the bank. Was everyone okay then? Yes. No one got hurt. It was, uh, it was just my husband and, and he, he drove the car. What did you think when you first saw the cars coming? I didn't see any other cars. There was no other car. In, in no. Oh, when, when, we, when first we first came. Oh, yes. Oh, well. We got a second-handed car first, and he, we got that truck first. That was the truck that we came in and got it, you know. And we got a second-hand part. Oh, yes, I thought it was a mess. <laughs> we went to a, to a very bus water, where it was it down. But I don't remember where it was no more. We didn't go in the water. We just watched. <laughs> was it pretty far away? It was pretty far away, but it wasn't child fond. It was farther than that. Did you often go on any far trips? No, we didn't. There wasn't so many places to go. That time that people didn't get off, or didn't get the vacation. <laughs> Are there certain things you like better about the past than you like now? Oh, well, we have it much, much handier than we used it. And we used to have it in the house, you know, and everywhere. We didn't, we had to have outside toilets, we didn't have inside toilets, we didn't have the water in the house, you know. <laughs> Is there anything there you liked better before? Well, I think the things are handier now than they were that time. Mm-hmm. Do you remember anything of, anything special about the wars, like any of them, like World about War II? The, the wars. Well, I used to hear about it. If, if it wasn't for John Lapp, a whole lot of our people had to go to. We went out, we went to Washington, I guess, to talk with the president, if I'm not sure, right? And he, he said, we're not supposed to kill, and uh, they left us go free, but on some places they didn't, they, 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 uh, and they were rough to them. Do you know some Mennonites that went to war? Huh? Men? Do you know any Mennonites that had gone to war? No, yeah, I, they I don't remember any, except uh, Wallace had a boy. He wouldn't have a go, but uh, he wanted to go, and he made himself made them believe he was older. He wasn't really old enough yet, but he never listened at home. You know, he didn't listen. He took his own way. Is he still away from home now? Oh, well, did he then he change? married and uh, married uh, I don't know, he's a Chinese. He married, uh, you know, when he was a baby. Did you hear much news, like, did you know who the presidents were when you were younger? Oh, Roosevelt, I know. McKinley, I know. Now the others, I forgot the names. Did anyone around here vote for president, or didn't they do that? I don't, I don't believe. Maybe in the beginning they voted. How did you hear about most things, like, president's stuff? Was it in the newspapers? In the papers, yes. Mm -hmm. When did you first get radio? Well, we didn't have any at home. We got one. And was it uh, if, Was it before my husband died? And he died about uh, 33 years old. He died. Mm-hmm. What do you think of all this, the modern things like all the cars? Do you? I, I think they're all right if they take care how they drive, but it's dangerous. Oh, they go so fast, and if it. You read the paper about every every day about accidents. Don't and my uh, oh my granddaughter, you know, she had an accident. Was it two years? And her little boy got well. Her boy was twelve years old, I guess. He got killed. They didn't stop it. That it was a big tanker coming, and they were on the way to a was it Bible study, I guess. It was it was Betty, Betty, mm-hmm. Betty's family. His name was Thurstein, Sam Thurstein. Yes, they went away to church, but now Connie, that's the oldest girl, she uh, was here at Christopher Doctor, and uh, maybe you saw already here, that Spitty's girl, a bit, and the other girl was along, and the boy had just three children. And this tanker wanted to go through the sand before they, and 
pooped over at again, and then they thrown they said the car looked at the door. Nobody could get a laugh from it. Well, her mother, Connie's mother, she uh, didn't know anything, and she was in the hospital, and her uh, other sister, a little younger than she, I was along, she, uh, did, I guess it was about, was it about two weeks or so, that she, she didn't, uh, they didn't expect her to leave. She, and then, and, but the boy killed right away, and they, they couldn't go to the funeral, they were in the hospital. Yes, and, there, and, the, and the father, was uh, hurt pretty bad in the, was it broken or something in here, and he couldn't use his arm. But he was, he could go to the funeral. That's, maybe had, you had heard of that, I don't know. Yeah. I guess he must have, uh, on his, I know Mary came over and said, she has bad news for me. She said that uh, they had an accident and the boy was killed and the others are in the hospital. Your son was in an accident once, wasn't he? Curtis? Uh, how was that? Yes, but, but they don't remember when he was 18 years old. Yes, but there was no other car around there. I mean, we never could, he never could find out what happened, but a lot of people thought maybe he fell asleep. He was uh, with his girlfriend pretty late, you know, and it was raining. And then there in Hatfield, near Hatfield, yes, there. Uh, the road was a little uneven, and that through the car, I guess he was going too fast, through the car on one side of the road, and the other side hit the pole, hit a new car. And then uh, that way he, uh, and oh, then the police, then they called us up, and then uh, we were in bed. Uh, and then the, we first, it shocked us so that we didn't know where our clothes were to put on, I and my husband, you know. And then he saddened that a little. Well, then, uh, then the police came. They wondered why they wouldn't come. Um, my, my husband, Curtis, Curtis that, you know, he uh, thought he couldn't drive. And then he asked Willis. Willis lived at that time. They lived over here. And then he, uh, Willis took us up, and then they passed the car. Oh, the seat was with blood. And I thought he was dead. They didn't tell us how bad he was. Then they went up to the hospital. Then they said, then they were fixing him, and they were here. He was all patched up in the face, and and looked though he was dead when we saw him once. We had to wait pretty long till they had it fixed once, and we could see him. And he was one month in the hospital. And he got over it, but they didn't expect that that he'd get over it. Did you often use hospitals? Like hospital. you had your I children all at home? I guess that was the first time that one was in the hospital. Did you have all your children at home then? Well, it was just Ernest, yes, he was at home. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you.